Hello and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Speed Techinator 3 channel for another episode of my MotoGP 23 uh, career mode. This is episode number 6 and we're racing at my home circuit in Austin, Texas. This is the Circuit de Americas. It's the Red Bull uh, US Grand Prix at the Circuit de Americas. Episode number 6 in our first season of the Pro MotoGP uh, career mode. If you did miss the, uh, the previous episode, uh, episode number five, it was at the, uh, the, the Rio Hondo Termas uh, Argentina Grand Prix. Uh, be sure to check it out on my live streaming on twitch.tv slash speedjapanator. And then click on the uh, followers button in the purple heart down below to uh, follow up to my channel. And then subscribe to my channel uh, on the star button to um, twitch.tv slash speedjapanator. Plus click on the red bell to your right and subscribe to youtube.com slash speedjapanator3. And then uh, you can click those thumbs up, uh, leave your links and likes and comments down below. And then, uh, and then also um, donate to my channel to uh, youtube.com slash uh, at speedjapanator3. Now, MotoGP23 is only going to be uh, an upload coverage. Uh, only the live streaming coverage we're only going to do is Formula One uh, 23 games. And then Formula One Manager 23 will all be uh, live streaming. And then if we have any element weather going on, it will be uploaded. So all MotoGP uh, coverages are all going to be uh, uploaded. So just to uh, give you the heads up on it, um, what's about to be at stake. So we're doing, a, uh, we're doing okay here at the uh, Circuit of the Americas. Uh, I know we're still with an inexperienced team, and uh, we are going to have some fallouts here, because you know in real life, uh, this uh, U.S. Grand Prix, everybody was falling out here, and there were only about 12 bikes uh, left here in the Circuit of the Americas in real life. So we are going to have some fallouts at the Circuit of the Americas. Uh, we're having a little bit of a tough time. It's a tough circuit uh, with the uh, with the MotoGP bikes around here because of the hills and downhills and everything, and then also the, uh, the stoppy corners. So it is going to get uh, a little bit slippy here. And the temperatures are pretty much normal. And we did barely made it into the second qualifying session. We made it into uh, P10. We were P13 in the first practice session, but then we got a little bit slightly quicker and we barely beat uh, Joan Zarco and he made it into the second qualifying session with Joe Mir along with him. So hopefully we can get two minutes and six and maybe get a top five out of this one. Hopefully um, we'll try to do that. Uh, so we're gonna put a fresh set of um, socks in there on both tires. Maybe uh, soft and mediums might, might help a little bit. I think the soft and mediums will help if we get the bike a little bit faster. If we get two minutes and five seconds, then we know we got the pole position. So it is gonna be slippy out there, so we'll try to brace ourselves and try to be careful. The team has just finished preparing the bike and the In the previous race, we did win the uh, the Argentina Grand Prix, but we were um, we were in second place uh, in the sprint race. And I'm so very glad that we made it into the second qualifying session without any problems.
Oh, we fell out. We got a little bit too, way too much braking on it, and then a little bit too much wobble on the bike. Was way too slow. I have to make a correction out of this one. I've been having a lot of trouble with this turn. And still a little bit, too, still a little bit too much of a wobble. That was too much there. Oh, they invalid that lap. It's just a little bit too much of an oversteer. Just wobbling. going to have many fallouts over here, I'm just trying to get it right. Oh, a little better that time. It's 2 minutes and 6.922. Well, we're going to have to take another lap at it because it's, I want to take another lap at it so that way we make sure we get the pole position. Man, the, 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 this track, it, it, it's tough, you know. It, it, it gets a little wobbly out there. we got to be careful with the brakes. But I'll try to figure it out and everything. And I'm doing as much as I can to try to... Um, get a faster lap. I don't think it's going to be that fast. Yes, yeah, see? It's, it. All right, let's take another lap at it. Oh, we got the pole position. 
We were going to get out there, but uh, so we clinched poles on three different tracks, and uh, yeah, it is fast enough. It's two minutes and 6.922, and we get the pole position for the sprint race, so that means that during the race, we will get the pole position as well for the race itself. So it was a good job, and man, I didn't expect to get the pole here, and we did. So this is our um, this is our second pole. This is our first pole position, and what a way to do it in my home race at, at the uh, at the Circuit of the America. So well, we had a few fallouts here and there, but you know it's a tough track to slow down here. So we're gonna have to figure out what we can do to, uh, to try to manage that. That was a great great job. Did that under 10 minutes, and uh, that paid off very well. So we're going to start out with the uh, the sprint race. Remember that is our new uh, warm up race, so we change it over to the sprint race because we'll have experience anyway here at the Circuit of the Americas. I wonder how many laps is the sprint race going to be, and we even get the pole to position for the main event as well for 20 laps of racing at the um, in the MotoGP 23. I may have a few fallouts here, but you know everybody's having a tough time at, at the Circuit of the Americas. You know, the bike is starting to, um, it's starting to smooth itself a little bit. I think we should go with both uh, mediums uh, for this race. So there you see the two Ducatis, uh, Besnini and also um, Bagnaya. So it was fast enough. And I feel so happy for the LCR Honda team that we got the, the fastest lap. And there you see for myself, and, uh, and what a way to, uh, with this inexperienced team, LCR, uh, it's a Mitsu Honda, to grab the pole position. Now uh, we're going to put a better uh, set of tires in there. I think we should go with the mediums uh, on both of them. Because we're going to go with the hard and mediums uh, during the main event of the race. So we'll go with uh, both mediums. So that should be able to do well. So here it is for episode number six. This is the sprint race here at the uh, my home race at the U.S. Grand Prix. Man, look how look how that bike wobbles here in turn one. That man, everybody's gonna have a we're gonna have a problem here in this. Uh, the, Track. You know, in real life, everybody had a problem here. Many riders uh, were falling out. Even one rider fell out. We're going to have to keep this move. Let's try to see if we can try to get it to a couple of uh, fallouts. You know, Robo 46 has had trouble here, too, with, with this Moto 3 bike. Because this bike, uh, the, you know, this inexperienced bike doesn't feel like uh, cooperating. Uh, look how that bike wobbles uh, in the turns. It, I tell you what, it, it's slippery and it's tough because there's a lot of downhills. This is one of two tracks. This is not like uh, Portugal. Portugal is a little bit tougher than the, the Coda. Here we go. We're getting set for the sprint race for episode number six here in the U.S. Grand Prix. Starting in between the Ducati and Noble team.
Oh man, I got hit from behind. Who do I who did I collide with? Oh, Vanellis. Just when I was trying to slow down. Man, who was that? Was that Vanellis? Way, way too much speed. Accelerated a little bit too much there.
almost had it. Still having trouble. It looks like it to be that I'm uh, hitting a, a little bit too much braking. See, it's not getting it right because uh, I'm braking a little bit too hard. I almost had it right. I don't know what's the matter with this first turn. I can't tell uh, it.
Yeah, at least I'm pulling away from Vanilla, so we could be able to get a second place finish out of this one. Well, now I got the fastest lap with the 2 minutes and 6 point 657. Man, that's a nice laugh. Oh, a little bit too much. I was tapping the brakes a little bit and then uh, suddenly I'm just having trouble with this first corner. It looks like Fagnaia that got a little bit loose a little bit. I'm closing in on him with two and a half laps remaining.
It's now up to the second when we have a lap and a half to go in this sprint race. rough that time. This is the final lap. Well, I'm still having trouble in the first corner. I think the key thing to do is to break early, you know. thing in the main event, I gotta improve in that first corner. This was great racing here in the sprint race, but still need to improve on some of these turns. Well, we came close, but no cigar. But we're going to get a runner-up finish here in the sprint race. That was a good effort, but back now it was too tough out there. So we did this under 38 minutes, so it was a, I would say it was a very good job, but we still having trouble with that first corner over there. All the other corners were uh, dramatically improving a little bit, and we did get the fastest lap. I don't know if we did or not. No, uh, the fastest lap was uh, more Delhi. But what a great effort. We got a runner-up finish uh, here in the sprint race, but now the key thing is it's the main event, and we're now uh, almost leading the point standings by just about one point behind. I'm glad we got that uh, second place finish uh, in the sprint race. But Jorge Martin still leads the point standings, and we get uh, more points out of the, uh, the sprint race than uh, we ever had. And um, it was a nice uh, bike race, but you know, this, uh, this track is uh, tough with the MotoGP bikes. You know, it's easier to do it in the Formula One race, but, uh, but in the MotoGP race, uh, it's just tough. So, and that puts us in the, still in the fourth place uh, under 39 points with the LCR Honda. The Premac Racing Team is 27 now ahead of Ducati. And then in the Constructors' Championship, Ducati leads, but we are nine points now behind with Ducati. 
Now let's uh, try to uh, improve on that in the main event for 20 laps of racing at the uh, U.S. Grand Prix at Dakota. But that was a good second place uh, finish. Now the second place finish was good. That's our second uh, podium finish uh, of the season. Well, that's, yeah, that's our second podium finish of the season because we got one in the previous race in Argentina. But remember, we're still in pole position in the main event. Greetings to all our friends back home from the States. We're live from Austin. One of the tracks with the highest elevation gain in the entire championship. In a few moments, we'll move to the main street <coughs> towards the start of the Moto GP race. All right, we are ready for 20 laps of the main event of the U.S. Grand Prix. So quite a bit of a, a little bit of improvement, but dramatically, we have to break very good in the first corner. These shots are taking us to the starting grid where everyone is ready for the start of the race. The weather is magnificent, a perfect end to this weekend. A medium rear tyre is enough for getting through the race at these temperatures, while the harder front tyre is needed. Yeah, we're going to use the harder uh, tyres on the front and then the medium tyres on the rear. But it's still the same position that, that we did in qualification, so we're still on pole position. I'm glad we got a second place out of this one, but let's see if we can try to win this race in my home track in the main event. Man, back now it was so tough to beat, too. Well, we, we gained closer on him, but, um, <laughs> but close, but no cigar. But it was a pretty good sprint race. But now the key thing is, let's do good here in the main event. So we're going to put on the, uh, the hard tires on the front and then the mediums uh, on the rear. And we do have enough of a medium set to, to do that. I think we didn't have our bike set up uh, for this race. That's why uh, the thing was wobbling a little bit. So we're going to keep it on maybe... Um, Four, I think four, five, four, three. That's what we're going to have to set up on. All right, we are all set and ready to go for the main event. Let's hope we can keep our fingers crossed and do very well here in 20 laps of the main event of the race. And if we run out of fuel, we know it right now. So we're going to go with hard and mediums, but oh man, Bagnaya. I, I don't uh, like this result for him. He's going to struggle with those soft tires on the rear, and they're going to wear out. I think we, we, we should go with the right setup, but uh, we had to go with the right tire setup, but it's going to give a disadvantage. He did well in the sprint race, but I think he's going to be a little bit weaker in the main event. This is not the right call but to put the soft on the rears. If we put medium on the rears, so that we can have an advantage. I think there's a slight bit of glitchy issue uh, with the uh, Circuit of the Americas. That was a pretty good 10 laps of, of racing. But let's, let's at least try to perform well with a couple of fallouts. Let's not have too many fallouts. I think we had about five fallouts, but especially in the first corner. Getting set for episode number six. It's the main event. 20 laps of racing in the U.S. Grand Prix at Dakota.
Oh, we made contact. We had a fallout. We, well, we had a couple of fallouts there. Nope, it's still not corrected yet. We have to go all the way back in the beginning. This is not a good start at all. We're, we're, we're still having trouble. Man, every, uh, see, when I did the setup and everything, then the, the bike didn't fall out as much. As much. Oh, I slipped it up a little bit too much. Well, we knew those soft tires were going to wear out too easily. I don't know why he uh, took the gamble for, for those. See, they're already slipping away already. I think this was a bad decision for Francisco Bagnaia.
smoke. I'm putting them banging over there, huh, Bag Mario? too hot there.
is a nice battle between me and Bagnaya. I'm still having trouble with that first corner. I hit the brakes hard, but that doesn't work. Still having problems with the first corner. I did it. I did it pretty well and everything, but then the, it's, it's, all of a sudden it just. Uh, I've already been falling out about four times on that first corner. Man, I can't believe I knocked out a uh, Bagnaya like that. Now I open up a 6.2 second advantage over Bagnaya. He's still back on his feet.
Oh, a little bit not too much on the edge right there. Okay, 10 more laps to go here at the U.S. Grand Prix. To keep this under a good steady pace, around five seconds, without any more fallout, so we can do well. At least we not had multiple fallouts, but we have a, a lot of problems in that first corner.
So we're in second place, Magnolia. That's needing it's in third place. That's his teammate. When it's under three, then uh, we know it falls out. Got it right that time. I don't know what happened the first time. I think it runs better off on power two on that corner. So that way it doesn't make the bike, uh, because if you put it under three, then it's gonna uh, slip away. Let's just keep it under five seconds. It was unbelievable that I did not uh, fall down on that. I thought that guy was going to be uh, out of the race <laughs> after that big fall that he made.
Five more laps to go here in Dakota. I know we were going to have fallouts here, but uh, but not as many as they used to be. But uh, with this new uh, bike position driving. But it's not as uh, much as uh, it was uh, going to be. Oh man, and we have another fallout uh, on that corner. I don't know what, what, what's going on with this section over here. I'm still having problems uh, with this. Uh, first I have problems with the first corner, and I'm, I'm getting it right, and now I'm having problems with, uh, with this corner right here. Still having trouble with the first corner again. Come on. It's been a pretty, uh, I, was, I was gonna say it's a fair race, but you know, still, we're having problems. Finally, I made it through there without another fall on it.
man. And with the good bad guy is painting on us once again in the final laps of this race.
Final lap of this race. Can we try to beat out Bagnaya? And Bagnaya passes me. Corrected. No, back now it slipped me out. I'm still have to, I'm still trying to correct it. I'm still trying to correct the acceleration. I'm I'm on to three, so that's what I know I was gonna slip a little bit. I was doing such a great job. And I'm still slipping away in the final lap. I'm having a rough race so far. I was trying to put it under three. No, that's too much acceleration. Let me make sure I try, try to get it right. I'm still not getting it right. I'm trying to beat Bagnaya, that's what I'm trying to do. I just had too far acceleration. Come on. Man, that guy beat me out. There was nothing I can do, but my tires were wearing out. I don't know how he won this race uh, with soft tires on the rear. I think he had still a little bit of life out of it. But, but that was a rough race at, at the end of this race. I was doing such a good job, and then suddenly uh, I slipped away a little bit. Uh, I was losing speed and everything else, and uh, man, the bike just uh, had nothing to do in the course. And then, there was nothing I can do. I think the tires may have, may have too much have slipped away and everything. We had a, such a great race. Uh, you know, the bike was going off fine and everything, and then slowed down right at the end. Man, I was attempting to go with my second win of the season. We got to get more power out of this bike, so that way we, we can have a very good lead and everything. We were battling it out with Bagnaya and everything, and, and then uh, I had to make a lot of corrections and a lot, and then had so many fallouts here because I had so much trouble with the turns, and especially on the final lap, I was trying to correct it. I was trying to go to full three, and then uh, to try to make it right and everything, and then suddenly uh, it just wasn't the case. 
but we had a very good race. We had two second place finishes, uh, but uh, it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, but our bike was just too slow. We have to get more pace uh, out of this bike. At least we got another podium finish. Uh, man, I could have loved to home win the, this home track. It, it looks to be that I had too much slippage uh, on the bike and then the, way too much fallout, so it slowed the bike down. You know, we'll get it right the next time uh, in the next race. I hope we have a better rounding in the next race in episode number seven. Yeah, my bike was just slipping everywhere. There was nothing I could do. I just had no grip uh, in, in any of these turns. There was just no grip at all. And then Bagdaya was coming, and then... Uh, I don't know how he had such a good of a bike. But we did a great job. We, but, but, I, but you know, at the end, I, I had a, a last lap of a fall and then corrections and everything else. It just wasn't uh, slipping away. It was slipping away a little bit too much. But at least I grabbed the, the points lead, but, uh, but a big boatload amount, amount of points for Bagnaya. He's now 82 points, so we're four ahead. So after a consistent second place finish uh, at the podium, we get uh, second place. And I feel, uh, I do apologize uh, for the fallouts at the end, but uh, man, this bike was just slipping down. We did okay in the sprint race, but uh, it wasn't meant to be in the main event. Uh, uh, we had too many fallouts going into the first corner and everything, and then uh, and the bike just kept wobbling and then it kept slipping out. We had the right setup and then the, it, it slipped away. We would have kept uh, fighting it and fighting it uh, right at the end of the race and then suddenly it just didn't go. But then at least we finished the race with an hour and 34 minutes uh, of it. But uh, man, the, you know, on the next patch they uh, got to fix it. But you know, I, I'm with an inexperienced team and. Uh, we got to get some developments out of this bike in order to keep uh, to preventing it from falling down. And the Prima Prima Racing is still leading in this uh, team championship. We're only about 40, 42 uh, behind with 86 points. And then uh, Ducati, uh, with that win, now they have 103. And then uh, Honda is second place with 89 points, Aparilla third. So let's celebrate our podium finish. So we finished in second place. I, yeah, we are disappointed that uh, we slipped it away right at the end of the race, or right in the final lap. There was just too much slippage on the track. You know, everybody's been having problems uh, at Dakota. But hopefully maybe in the next race, uh, when we go to this first of uh, three Spanish Grand Prix, at Tura, so we could do it much better over there. Man, good racing for the Lena Noble team, but well, Bagnaya was too tough out there. Well, at least we grabbed pole position in qualifying, but we finished 15th or better in the race in the sprint, and we got another podium. So I think it's going to be Captain's uh, brand. So that is going to be our new uh, goal for the next race at the Spanish Grand Prix for episode number seven. It was a pretty rough, wacky uh, bike race uh, at Dakota. And it's so tough uh, to be around these turns, but I mostly uh, had a lot of trouble in the first corner. That first corner uh, was uh, the slow, uh, weakest point uh, of there. And now, let's we'll see who are we facing for our new uh, 
library. I think uh, we're facing uh, Nakajima once again. A fall we could have uh, done without naturally, but did nothing wrong. It was just the way the race are. Yeah, I feel sorry for that fall, uh, Bagnaya. You know, uh, when I made contact with you, uh, Well, and Bagnaya accepts the apology for that one. A fall that we could have done without naturally, but did... Yeah, so I did apologize uh, to Bagnaya. Now, let's take a look at the preview of the, um, of the Spanish Grand Prix. See if I could try to become a team leader. See if we have any uh, developments coming up. Well, it's going to be another clear race uh, uh, for the uh, for the Angel Nido uh, Spanish Grand Prix for the next one. Hopefully, uh, we we could do better over there. And uh, let's see if we have any bike uh, development. We still have no handling yet. So in Duras, uh, we still have the second engine power, the stability, the handling is uh, what we need to improve on. The aerodynamic load is coming up and everything, but we still, but the, for the first time in this bike race, it, it was a wacky uh, bike race, I, I can tell you that, but, but so far we're leading the point standings, but we've got to get a better rounding in the next race. Uh, we had too many uh, fallouts in the first corner, that's what, what was causing us uh, to lose seconds. And then uh, somewhere in some of the places, uh, you know, and that, uh, in that second quarter, kind of coming off of the back straightaway, uh, we still need improving on that too for next season. But hopefully when we go to a better team, uh, then the bike will provide a much better handling. But, but you know, when you go with an inexperienced team like this, uh, then we know we're going to have fallouts and everything. But, but the bike was great, it was fast, but we were runner-up, but we will come back next season when we go to our to the Cotty team and uh, then we'll uh, pace it out a little bit better. And keep your fingers crossed in the next race. Uh, we're going to do much better uh, at the uh, Spanish Grand Prix uh, in Espana. We still lead the point standings, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll do it uh, once more. So uh, I would say it was a fair bike race, but uh, we have to do uh, a little bit much more better than that. So um, that will uh, conclude our coverage of the uh, MotoGP 23 uh, career mode. It was a wacky bike race uh, at Dakota. We did a little better in the sprint race. Uh, the sprint race was much better, but, uh, but it wasn't the case uh, in, the, uh, in the main event. Uh, we just had far too many fallouts uh, in the first corner. And, and everybody else has had trouble with this track in real life, uh, I'll tell you that. But, but we'll do, do it much better. But thank you so much for watching. Our next episode for the uh, MotoGP race will be uh, this weekend. Because we're going to go back to uh, Formula One uh, 23 for uh, my Team Chapel 25 action. But thank you so much for watching on the Speed Chapinator 3 channel. Hopefully we'll have a better outing in the next race at the Spanish Grand Prix at the Jurez, uh, at the Red Bull Jurez. So... Thanks everyone, goodbye for now, we'll see you in the next one.